just had not gotten out of the car, just kept going, then uh, we wouldn't be here. Monday, attorney Warren Brown will represent the teenager accused of murdering Timothy Reynolds one year ago. The boy squeegeeing windows to make money, now facing a first degree murder charge. Accused of shooting and killing Reynolds at the corner of Light and Conway last July. It happened after Reynolds got out of his car with a baseball bat. The suspect was 14 at the time. That really put into motion uh, the, the mayor's efforts to, to rid the corners of the squeegee kids. And if you travel through Baltimore now, those corners that used to be inhabited by squeegee kids are vacant. The family of Reynolds has been outspoken since his death, speaking out multiple times, including back in November, when a judge ruled the case should be tried in adult court. Reynolds' sister saying then that they felt relieved, but that there are no winners in this case, and there's still a long road ahead. We wanted everyone to know he was not a bat-wielding maniac. He was a brother, a father, a son, a husband, a cousin, a friend, and um, we lost an amazing person. Meantime, Warren tells 11 News when it comes down to it, he believes this case surrounds race, poverty, and rage. Understand that those things that create this instant anger are really not that important and uh, just to let it go, just to, just to let it go, let it pass uh, because nothing is worth losing your life over. The trial is set for 930 AM tomorrow morning here at the Mitchell Courthouse. We'll be here and let you know what happens. For now live at the Mitchell Courthouse downtown, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.